All right, here we go. Daniel Del Rio with the Stanislaus San Joaquin County market update. So this is August. So all the data is covering all the way to the end of July. And you read the email right. You know, affordability being crushed, uh, prices up nearly 10 percent, double digits in Stanislaus and San Joaquin County. Uh, interest rates are going are staying up. So this is the first time in 20 year career that I've seen rates go up, prices go up and inventory stay at record low levels. So I want to dive into a bit more information, uh, which I broke down in this email, but I figured you might want to listen to it twice the speed and, and and get as equal as impact. And I'll go through visually and show you some of these slides, but we're going to talk about affordability. We're going to talk about inventory. We're going to talk about interest rates. And we're going to talk about Stanislaus County, San Joaquin County, and San Jose County. So you kind of get an idea why um, most of our buyers are coming from the Bay Area. Affordability is out of reach, not, not only in, in Stanislaus and San Joaquin County, it's really being threatened. The American dream is being threatened of home ownership by increased rates and prices that are going up, the complete lack of building over the last decade. Um, and we're becoming a renter's nation. So I'm also going to show you a chart that shows um, the fact that we are outpacing building uh, two plus units, which means apartment buildings uh, faster than we are single family homes in a way prepping for that renter's nation that we're all being forced into uh, because of inflation, uh, lowered inventory, high rates, higher prices and affordability just being squeezed. Uh, so let's just dive into some of it and I'll explain uh, some of the charts as we go along. Uh, so let's start with this here. So Let's start with uh, just the, the the general market of where we're at right now. So uh, Stanislaus, San Joaquin County, uh, interest rates have stayed high, 6.8, slightly high, slightly lower than we were in the past. Inventory, minor bump, uh, two listings. Uh, pending sales stayed relatively flat, and so did uh, sold. Same thing, similar to San Joaquin County, right? Inventory didn't rise up a lot, still record low inventory. Pendings are flat. Uh, closings are low. Again, transactional recession is what we're dealing with right now. Uh, I'm going to go through this a little faster. Medium price, you read it, 9.5%. Uh, end of the year, we were at 420. Today, we're at 460,000 in uh, Stanislaus County. San Joaquin County, we're sitting at 535,000, up from 486 at the end of the year. 10% uh, is the increase in San Joaquin County. And then let's go through inventory. Inventory, 1.4 months. Again, traditional is four to six months. Now let's talk about why that is. So I went through that rather quickly, uh, but I wanted really to get through uh, these slides here. So let's start with interest rates. Now, here are the rates over the last 13 years. You can see the rates hovered for a long part of that decade under 5%. Now here you're seeing the interest rates uh, stay over 6% while prices continue to go up. What that's causing is affordability issues. Uh, prices going up and, and, and uh, monthly obligations going up. Uh, the average home uh, buyer, the, the, on average, they, they try to keep you under 35% debt to income ratio, meaning your mortgage should not exceed really 30%. Uh, with all other expenses, you go up to maybe 40%. So with increased rates, your payment is higher and you get qualified based, based on payment. Uh, so let's see what I mean, what we mean by that. Well, let's see what's causing this issue. The first issue is inventory. Why are people not selling? Well, they all tied into these really low rates. And until the rates come down, you'll see some of those buyers or that would the sellers that would be buyers because of, of, of upgrading of properties um, will finally put their home on the market. So there's there's a lot of clients that we talk to that families have grown over the last five years. They need an extra bedroom. They need a, a larger place. Sometimes they're looking to downsize, but it's not worth them jumping from a 3% interest rate to a 6.87% interest rate right now. It just doesn't make much financial sense or whether they could even qualify for that. So why that is uh, and what that's causing, it's causing a, reduction, a reduced amount of inventory as low as we've seen it. So you could see this red line right here as of July, this is our inventory levels compared to what we were 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 2021. See much higher inventory levels compared to where we're at today. Um, so affordability, what does it mean when rates go up and prices go up? Uh, monthly obligations are, are, are higher. So you see here, this is an affordability uh, threshold. So the affordability threshold is here. 
Uh, for a majority part of the last decade, we the homes have been pretty affordable. Uh, right now, we're sitting at 73%, which is uh, just about the same as what it was in 20, 2007, before the correction of the last market. Now, back then, we had an oversupply, and the market corrected because there was just a ton of inventory. Uh, this is not the case right now, as you saw on the slide above. So what what this means for, uh, say, San Joaquin County. So the medium family income is about 87000 so the median price is 497 according to this. You saw in the one before, it's about 535,000. So what that means is the threshold should be 30% of your income uh, should go to housing. Uh, right now, if 20% down payment on a property, which a lot, some buyers can't put 20% down payment, um, the payment would be 3416 within taxes and insurance, which would be 46%. As you could see, because of rising interest rates and rising inventory, uh, sorry, l uh, reduced amount of inventory and increasing uh, prices, affordability is getting out of reach. Now, a big part of our buyers are coming from the Bay Area. Now, you're going to be able to see that it's actually less affordable to buy in the Bay Area, but their income is twice as much. For So for a 60-mile, 70-mile drive, uh, they could afford here. Now, more and more of our residents are not able to qualify for a property, uh, causing them to be forced into the rental market. And as you saw, double digit increases in rents. You're starting to see some permits being pulled, not on single family. Most of them are on multifamily, which you'll see as well. Uh, here's Stanislaus County. Numbers are, are, are pretty similar. So first one is, uh, let's look at Stanislaus County here. Stanislaus County, 80,000 medium family income, 435 price point. You saw it was 460 on the chart. Uh, 2971 is the payment, 44% is uh is the qualification factor now now again it is it just means that a majority of our population um can't really afford it it's, it's over that threshold now look at what it is in san jose santa clara county now they're making twice as much almost income 150,000 as a family but their median price is 1.3 million with the rate of being at 6.4 their payment is eight thousand eight hundred dollars a month they're at 70 percent they're, they're almost twice as, uh, th their properties are twice as much out of reach as it is in the Valley. If somebody in the, in the Bay Area can't afford to buy there, even with 150000 So you're seeing families team up and then co-own properties, which you give up some of your privacy, or you make a 60 to 70 mile drive. And these, these, these families that are making $150,000 a year, well, now they're able to buy in the Valley. And as you can see, they're making almost twice as much income. We're at 44% affordability. If they come here, they're at 22%, which is well under the 30% threshold. That's why so many people are fleeing from, from, from the Bay Area and coming here, not because they want to make the drive, but simply they have two choices. They could continue to rent or they could give up some of their privacy and co-own a property or make the 60 to 70 mile drive here and buy a home in the Valley, which, again, is the reason why you're seeing an increased amount of buyers from the Bay Area. You're seeing prices continue to go up. Um, because it is actually less affordable, way less affordable, even if you're making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Now, a lot of places in the nation are 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 much lower than this. So we're talking about the West Coast here, California. So, um, and then uh, and then here um, is uh, the the other slide here. So, this is what we're talking about construction. Uh, what do I mean by we're becoming a renter's nation? As we're not building enough single family properties. Um, we're just not putting enough inventory out there. You can't really blame the builders. You know, the cost of construction is very expensive. The permitting process is very expensive. Uh, the code now is so expensive to build a property. You got all this fire code and uh, a bunch of things that builders have to do now that it's just making properties not affordable, right? So you're starting to see some tiny homes um, come together, but you're just not seeing enough of them. So here's, here's, what, here's what you're seeing. So these are two plus units. Look at the skyrocketing of, of those builds compared to the drop of the single family properties here recently. So this is something we have to pay attention. Uh, this is this is here in the last three years. Um, you've seen a big build of single families throughout the decades of the 80s and the 90s, right? Now this caused us overbuilding, caused the market to correct. But in this case, now we're seeing, we've seen the multifamilies uh, go up. So again, they're just prepping the fact that we're going to become a renter's nation. Uh, affordability is going to continue to get out of reach, even if rates come down a bit. 
um, it's still going to be um, incredibly difficult for some families to purchase a property. So, so um, that's a lot of information. But you know, we get asked a lot of questions about uh, about the market. You know, we still have a lot of clients that are that are hoping that the rates go down uh, to be able to put their home on the market and, and, and either move up or move down in in um, in property value. But it, you know, if you're a buyer that's waiting for properties property values to correct, you're just not seeing it. Um, you're not seeing property values uh, adjust down. You're not seeing the break in interest rate yet. So we'll continue to monitor the interest rate and I'll continue to update you every single month. But in my 20 years, I've not seen a market like this. And our team is working really, really hard to make sure we continue to inform the clients, uh, help them if it's within their means, purchase a property for them. So that way they can lock in their lifestyle and they don't have to deal with the increased housing cost of rents or even moving. So if uh, if you have any questions, reach out to somebody on the team. If you want to get an idea of what your property is worth, uh, click on the link above and you'll be able to go to our instant valuation tool and get an instant valuation for your property. You can set yourself up so you get an instant valuation every two weeks, every month. It's a free tool for you all. But until next month, uh, happy house hunting. If there's anything the Del Rio Group could do for you, reach out to me or anybody else on the team. Uh, until next month, be safe.